सो टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द रो वर्सेज द फिल्टर कॉन्टेक्स्ट इन पावर बी आई If I have to explain in one line, row context is basically calculating one row at a time. And if I have to explain filter context in one line, it is basically focusing on the subset of your data. Now let us try to understand this very quickly with the help of very simple examples. Suppose we have got this table which has got product, quantity, price, and city. Okay, and we want to calculate the total sales. now how will i get the total sales it is very simple i just need to multiply quantity with price and then i'll get the total sales so i have used a very simple dax formula that is sales quantity into price the quantity into price what will it do 10 into 550 okay so this is a calculation that is happening at a row level this is what we call as a row context 15 into 8 120 like this 12 into 6 is 72 so if you see the calculation is happening one row at a time and this is what we call as a row context now let us talk about filter context suppose instead of this dax formula i am using this dax formula wherein i am just putting an additional filter so i am doing the sum but at the same time using this calculate function i am putting a filter and what is the filter the filter is that city is equal to new york okay so within this data i am focusing on this subset wherein the city is equal to new york the moment i run this dax formula i am getting the calculation only for new york see there is no value for chicago that is because i am focusing on a particular subset of your data now this particular filter context is called as an explicit filter context because i am explicitly putting a filter on city new york there is one more kind of filter context which is called as a implicit filter context how does that work suppose we have got a very simple visual for the total sales as per the city now if i am putting a filter on new york then the data will get filtered only for new york and the values will be shown accordingly this is called as an implicit filter context so i can put this filter using either the slicer or any other visual that can filter out the data so i hope you understand the difference between the implicit and the explicit filter context now why do you need to understand row and filter context if you do not understand the difference between the row and filter context you will find it difficult to perform the tax calculation within your dashboard thank you so much for watching